There's some men out here who don't love you for who you are, but they like you for what you do. And that's all it's about. It's, it's not about your character. It's not about your soul, your spirit, your energy. It's about how you make his life easier, how you're on call, how you're convenient, how he can leverage whatever abandonment wounds or your desire for a real relationship in order to get the most out of you while giving you very little to nothing in return. Especially when you have a guy that's going to leave you or abandon you the moment that you tell him no. If you notice that a man's energy changes the moment you start saying no, he never loved you to begin with. He was just using you. If a man falls back from you because you say you need more from him than what he's been giving you, that man never loved you. He was using you. He was, and I'm not, I'm not opposed to us being useful to each other and being able to be utilized. I think we're all supposed to provide value to each other. But when a man is using you, that means he's taking from you on purpose more than what he knows he's giving back. Because what happens as, you know, we talk about pouring from an empty cup. He's draining your cup. Matter of fact, that was the exact question. My, my inner circle member. So for those of y'all who don't know, I have a self crown inner circle. That's my private mentorship community where I get messages. I answer questions. That's the only place I do Q&As. Anyway, a young lady messaged me asking how could she get more out of her capacity? How, how she get more energy? She felt like the relationship was draining her. And I do have courses and all that kind of stuff on how to get the best energy. But I was like, sis, it's not that the relationship is draining you. It's that that man is using you. Some of y'all in the same situation. It's not that the relationship and how hard it is. A relationship can be difficult. Two people, completely different experiences and histories and, um, you know, blueprints, frameworks and how they think, coming together to mesh and become, become one. That can take some work, no doubt about it. But there's a difference between this relationship is hard and I'm fighting for this relationship by myself. I'm investing in this relationship by myself. I'm give, give, give and they're take, take, taking and that's the dynamic. That's the new normal. That's when a man is using you. Let me give you some signs when to know that a man is using you or reasons why a man might end up using you. And one of those signs, let's start with the signs first. When a man only has capacity, time-wise, physical presence-wise, to be available when you're not. When his capacity is limited to spaces and things that automatically give him a way out where he ain't, ain't got to do for you, that man is likely using you. Let me give you an example. You want to go on real dates. You want to have some fun. You want to, you know, have experiences with this guy. But he, he, he's at work all day until everything is closed. Or the only time he has off is whenever you're at work. Some guys will get to know you and ask you all these questions about how your life is going. So they can literally look at when you do have capacity and make sure they have something to say that they're too busy to do during that time. Or they're not able to be available during the time. I had the kids. I'm going to be at work. I'm going to do blah, 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 And it's all so that he can say, well, I would love to do this with you. But, hey, I got to work at this specific time that you that you available. Now, there are times where there's going to be a mix. But what happens if a man is, like, serious about building with you, connecting with you, he's going to say, let me, uh, let me shift some things around or, or let's find an exception. There's always, if a man wants to make time, he will make time. It won't be as much time every single time. Men are busy, especially if he's productive and ambitious. But if you guys are wanting something serious, and I need to put a disclaimer because nothing I ever say applies to everybody. If you in the time or you just, you having your fun, you doing your things, you keeping your, your, your relationships low maintenance, this ain't for you. If you're in a situation where you and that man have made it clear, y'all don't want nothing serious, in depth, or really super vulnerable with each other, this ain't for you. But for those of y'all who are saying, my heart is ready, I'm ready for something real, he's giving me the impression he is as well, this is a conversation for you. If you're in that situation, and the reason why I say that is because you're more than likely going to want to give your all. You, you, you come in full force, head, you know, first, you, you want to give everything that you got. And you have to discern what you're getting in return or else you're going to get burnt out. You're going to get stretched in. This ain't just good, bad or, or ear tickling stuff. Like you, you're, you're literally going to not take good care of yourself by dealing with somebody who's only taken from you. And so if he's playing that whole game of his capacity and in, in, in the beginning, it was all good, especially when it was sex. Oh, he had all the capacity in the world. He could stay up all night. When you was off, he made time, he'll cut, he'll cut work short or whatever the case may be. But now all of a sudden he can't. Another, another way a guy will end up using you, and it's very similar actually, 
because that one's basically the same, but breadcrumbing you, leaving you just enough to keep you warm. So when it's time to eat, he, he still got access to you. It's basically keeping you open for his next request, but not truly investing the best that he has to invest. So breadcrumbing, most of y'all know what it is by now. A couple of years ago, this was a brand new term, but essentially somebody who does just enough to keep your hope alive in something more from them, but never enough to fully, like truly fulfill you on an emotional level. Knows all your romantic needs, has all the capacity to, but says, I'm just going to like drop, drip, drip feed her. A conversation here, a text there, just a little bit, just to keep the hope alive. Because now if you jump off this train, if you jump off the hamster wheel, then you're going to be the reason why y'all didn't make it. But the longer you stay on, the more time that you waste. And then whenever he finally does say, hey, look, I need something from you, you end up thinking, oh, yeah, this is my time. This is my time to help open up his capacity or inspire more or to be there or whatever. That man is using you. When a man won't even let you go, but he always got something that he wants from you whenever he does make himself available and it's not mutual. I got to say that because, again, if you like whatever it is that he wants from you just as much as he like it, that's mutual. He's not using you. But if you notice that you're always giving something, you're being selfless. You're putting yourself aside. You're thinking of him. You're trying to make his life easier. But all he does in between time is give you just enough to try and invalidate your complaints or requests for more. That man using you. Straight up, sis. That man using you. Another way that you know that that man using you is if you start hearing a whole lot of sad stories the moment you ask for something or specific to the things that you would normally ask for. Again, a lot of guys will get to know you, what you want, what you need, and they have a baseline of what a woman wants and needs in general anyway. But then what you'll start hearing, as they don't want to give anything, you'll start hearing all of these little saving private Ryan stories and do it for little saint stories and my goldfish died and this, that, and the other. And this is why I, I don't like to talk um, between 7 p.m. and 11 p.m. at night every night. And I just go straight to sleep on Friday and Saturday. My phone cut off. You know, I just, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm working right now. I'm trying to feed the babies over and Ethiopia and that's why I can't buy a new charger. I know I'm being dramatic, but you get what I'm saying. When you start hearing all of the sympathy vying stories or whatever's, and it's always attached to something you might ask for from him. I can't, you know, the last relationship I was in, the girl, she tried to poison me. So I can't get into a serious committed relationship right now, but I can get from you all the things that's supposed to come with a serious relationship. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not about what he does or does not want. It's like with all that he's saying he's not available for or interested in or can't do or won't do, one thing remains. He still expects you to put out. And then you have to be very careful not to get victimized in this situation or have this victim mentality that you're not a part of the problem if you're continuing. And this is why I'm making you aware, just like my sis in the inner circle, like, you just need to be aware. And from there, you know that you can make the change that you need to make. Another way a man will end up using you, another sign that he's using you. And honestly, this isn't so tangible like one little thing. Just look at the scope of the relationship. If you have 30 days or more to look at the time that this man has been in your life and you see that there's a net negative to his presence in your life, that man is using you. Even if he ain't got it in his mind that he's using you, he's using you. He's probably just not on your level or he probably has a different blueprint. And honestly, like I said, this ain't about sitting there saying this man is so bad and villainizing him and he's horrible or anything like that. This is about self-preservation because what can you do if you don't have enough for you? If you give it all to him, energy, time, you got all of this stuff, but you look back at the last 30, 60 days he's been in your life and he's giving you so little Compared to what you're giving, he's using you. He's using you. And you'll have guys that do that, man. I'm talking about for every, you know, you 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 showing up for his profession. You want to make his life easier on that end. You cooking meals. You sending uh, links to help him put stuff together better in his business. You you come to his house. You fold and close and this, that, and y'all. I know people got thoughts about, oh, that's a wife duty, whatever. Just say that's what you do to make a man's life a little bit better. But for you... He ain't looking for no opportunities to make your life easier. He got all the reasons in the world why he can't. And maybe they're legitimate. 
But if you look at the sum total of that man's presence in your life and you realize that if things continue going the way they are, you're going to continue to go downhill while keeping him afloat or maybe even helping him up and he's not willing to do anything to change it, that man is using you. And it's very similar to the next one that I'm going to talk about. Another sign that he's using you, and this happens a lot as well, is if honestly, he is good. Y'all are equally yoked, but right now he don't have capacity. And that's a tough one because it can go either way. Sometimes a man doesn't have capacity because this is a season in his life. He really don't need to be dating right now, whether financially or time-wise, energy-wise. Maybe he's a lot of grief going on, what have you. Or the capacity may be that you're not enough priority to him where he's not wanting to invest that capacity or make that capacity for you. He has capacity. Every man has a limit, though. But he's over-indexing on things he really cares about. I'm not talking about his kids. I'm not talking about, you know, something like... But I'm talking about video games and gym time with the homies and, you know, that kind of thing. If he's putting all these different things, yes, capacity is going to be a problem, which honestly should be priority. But let's talk about capacity in the first context, because this is what I'm getting ready to talk about on the Big Brother Advice podcast with my self count and the Circle members. By the way, if you want access to that, comment the word free. I'll send you a link so you can check it out right after we get off of here. But when it comes to capacity, I always said this before, and it went viral some years ago, that some men don't want love, they want help. But guess what? I'm going to add something to it. A lot of men don't need love. They got love. What they need is therapy. What they need is patience. What they need is self-control. They, they need to hold off on any more love. They got enough people loving them. Kids love them. Mama love them. Homies love them. So I'm like, hey, they got love. But what they need to do is stay away from a relationship until they can show up in a way that any kind of relationship can survive. Now, you got times where, hey, right now things have to be directed over here or over here, but it's a season of the relationship. It's not the entirety. This is not how the relationship is going to go. And you get to decide whether or not you want to be a part of that. But whenever you notice this man's capacity is zapped outside of his survival needs, that man don't need you to come in with your cape on. He don't, he don't need you to come in. If anything, that's supposed to be vice versa. A man is supposed to be helping make a, a woman's life much easier and that kind of thing while you support him reaching his mission, achieving his purpose and making that easier. That's what a woman's supposed to do. Man's supposed to make the woman's life easier. Woman's supposed to make the man's mission easier. Again, we're going to talk about this in a little bit with the self-crown inner circle. But when a man has limited capacity and he still says, I want you in my life, and then he has no problem siphoning from you all the value that you're bringing. Meanwhile, knowing that he's not bringing anything to you, that tells you he has a very low premium on relationships, on a woman's investment. And again, more than likely using you because there's no way he doesn't see that you're doing this, this, this for him and he ain't doing nothing for you. What you'll get from a man that at least has some level of conscience is him pulling back or, or saying, hey, I don't want you to do this many things for me. Like, you don't have to do this. Thank you, but don't, you know, I don't want you to burn yourself out. You'll see that from a man because all men ain't just trying to use you if he ain't got capacity. You'll see him say, man, like, put, put the brakes on it, you know, or whatever. But if a man just continues to let you run yourself, run yourself, run yourself, you're creating a dynamic where you're basically his stepping stool and likely a stepping stool to the next woman. This is how women become that stepping stool to the next woman. I did a master class, but I'm going to give you all the game right here. You do all of this stuff, you, you integrate yourself in his life in a way he just uses you, but guess what? That builds resentment. Now that resentment has you embodying a certain energy that wasn't there in the beginning. Maybe even treating him a certain way that you didn't originally do, but he still has use for you. So now the relationship, the intimacy is not there, but the moment he where he need to be, he out. And not just out, he on to the... And meanwhile, you was there keeping them strong. And now your resentment is really going to turn to heartbreak. Man, I can't wait till we talk. I'm about to go in on this live chat with my self crown inner circle members because we had a lot to talk about because this all lends itself to this, the signs that a man is a serial cheater. <laughs> Ask me how I know. If you want to get in on that conversation right after we're done here, again, comment the word free. I'm going to send you a link or... The link should be pinned if you're on Facebook or YouTube or it's in the bio or something like that. Depending on, Just comment the word free. I'll send it to you. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get up off of here. I'm your internet brother trying to look out per usual. If you got something to value, share this right now so you can be a blessing to somebody else in your timeline. That don't cost you nothing. 
Share this right now if you got something of value. And again, if you want to get in on this live conversation with my self-crowned inner circle members, enrollment is open and it only opens three times a year. Right now, matter of fact, it's free. Comment the word free. I'll send you the link. Or if you're on Instagram, hit the link in the bio, wherever you see a link.